Today's quick tip talks about using SVG images to have dynamic indicators uh, in your, your application. So we have this uh, tool um, that, that we put out in the community called Dynamic Indicator Maker. Uh, it's an app sheet app uh, that helps you quickly make a variety of different uh, indicators. So I'll have a link to this uh, preview app uh, so you can, you know, uh, you know, be able to do the same thing that I'm showing you uh, right now. I'm gonna switch tabs here to full screen, but basically <clears throat> uh, what you're able to do is, it, you know, you can preview the current indicator. You have three different types that are available, horizontal, circle, vertical. Um, you could change some attributes about the radius and structure of how that looks, along with changing any of the colors, like whether you want to change the text color, background color, even the gradient color in the actual indicator itself. Um, so, uh, and, you know, after you get the style you're looking for, um, then you basically would put the column name of, in your app, the column name of, that would have that, you know, that percent, uh, that you would like to show in the indicator, right? So then you could use that image to display that indicator instead of just having a, a, a plain text value. Um, so yeah, that's that's really the only thing you really need to configure here is is putting your um, column that represents that percent uh, that you want to show in the indicator here. And what, what this app does to make it easy, it generates the virtual column formula that um, you would then copy and paste into your application. So um, you could do this with any SVG image, by the way, right? This is, this is just a, a tool to help make it really quick and easy. So you don't have to fiddle around with the um, the actual code here of an SVG image. Um, so you could definitely experiment and and you know you could create anything you want really. Uh, but um, the what what's going on here specifically that makes this possible is this generates the SVG image file uh, in real time in the app itself. And if you'll notice um, in the actual code here, we have column references that are put in. So that ties back to this um, value here uh, that you enter here. It updates um, this code to place that column appropriately in the location. Along with any of the other attributes you update, it's actually updating uh, these values here in the structure itself. So. Uh, that's what's going on, and um, as I mentioned, you, you're just essentially concatenating these, you know, static string text to a column uh, that has that value, that dynamic value you want to display in the image itself. And then, yep, the end result is, you know, this preview here where your app will will update uh, based off the column as the column values change itself. So hopefully that helps and um, yep, have a good one.